a lot, Andreas. That was a great speech. Um, what's your opinion why Mr. Nakamoto uh, haven't explained why uh, what Bitcoin is for exactly, and why do you think he decided not to reveal his identity? Well, in Greek mythology, there's the story of Prometheus, and Prometheus had the audacity to steal fire from the gods and give it to man. And as punishment for that, he was tied to a rock where an eagle would eat his liver every day, and then overnight the liver would be regrown so he could be tortured all over again. Satoshi Nakamoto stole money from the state, not stealing the money itself, but stealing the technology of money and giving it to man directly. And if we ever find out who Satoshi Nakamoto is, the most likely uh, result will be that someone will either metaphorically or quite literally tie him to a rock for an eagle to eat his liver out, or her liver, or their liver. The day after Nakamoto is found, we will discover uh, from the media that this person is a criminal, a terrorist, a Muslim, a lesbian, a vegan, <laughs> an anarchist, a punk, punk rocker, and biologically related to Justin Bieber. <laughs> I just enumerated, you know, ten of the most horrifying things I can think of. Because that's what the media is going to do, right? Um, probably at the behest of governments. We got to realize that Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared just in time. Um, I think it's very wise to recognize that Satoshi Nakamoto is not a deity or a prophet, and that even though he, she, or they created a vision for what Bitcoin could be. Um, Bitcoin is not theirs, and their idea of what Bitcoin could be or is is not divine truth. We are Bitcoin, and Bitcoin will always be we, not a single person. That's the whole point. And therefore, it doesn't even matter anymore what Satoshi Nakamoto thought Bitcoin is. In fact, Satoshi Nakamoto was mostly arguably unsure about whether this would actually work. They were extremely hesitant to think that this would work. Um, so the bottom line is that Satoshi Nakamoto can't tell us what Bitcoin is, because neither he, she, they, nor we yet know what Bitcoin will be. We are making history. We have to take responsibility for the fact that we are part of making history. And part of making history means that you have no idea what comes next, because it's never come before. And so you have to make your choices carefully, um, and with a long view into the future. So the stewardship of Bitcoin has passed to all of us. What do you think Bitcoin is? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I would say I completely agree that Bitcoin is a platform as a Lego, which gives you creativity to create whatever you want. So, in the, in this point, I completely agree with you. I, I completely agree with you in a lot of the points, but in this one, for sure. So yeah, it, it actually gives you the ability to build anything, starting from the currency, from the payment system, and ending with uh, with um, the projects which are now built with Ethereum. When you um, you use the blockchain to create the tokens for the trees in the Canada, and then when somebody is making a guitar from the trees, you can follow the history of guitar in the blockchain. So Why not? I, yeah, that, that, that is also the great way to decrease the level of illegal... Uh, Foresting. Yes, exactly. So, so, so here's the other thing. Here's the other thing that's really important to understand. Bitcoin doesn't have to be one thing. That's the whole point of a platform. It can be that to you, and it can be something completely different to me, and it could be a different thing for every one of you. 
in a system where you don't require permission to innovate, to be creative, where in order to launch an application on the network, all you need is to create a new application and then find someone else who wants to interact with you using that application, the user base of a legitimate application is two. <laughs> okay? For some applications, one. You don't need to focus group it or test it. Write a protocol definition, launch it on the network. It's like, how many people do you need to run an application on the network? Two, at most. And that's enough for that application to be meaningful to you. So Bitcoin is, but Bitcoin is also whatever you want it to be. Um, it allows you to express the application of just two people. And that's one of its magical capabilities, because if you want to create a... a a financial application on our modern financial system, it has to be something that billions of people will use profitably for the banks. Which really means that you can only have very few applications. So I think it's, it's important to think about it as something you own, and, and I own, and we all own. <laughs>